What is up, y'all? It's JPT3000. Back here with another episode, and right now we're going to be talking about cleaning uh, oil field equipment, surfaces, and things like that. We're going to be replacing. We're going to be replacing one of these right here. This is a what do you call it? Uh, just a gasket. This is a uh, suction manifold, suction line. This is a suction. Wait a minute. Pause. Uh, don't pause it. Don't pause it. This is a suction. This is a water suction manifold. This is a gasket for it. Now, really, what we want to be doing is we want to put two of these on there. One of our coworkers went to go get the come along so that we can get this separated enough so that we can get this in here. We're going to put one on and we're going to put one here or here so that the other one goes goes out. We can just easily cut it off and slide it over. The first thing you want to do with any related oil field, anything, anything you're going to replace something, you're going to work on something, you want to clean it. And break clean, you will use more than anything else in the oil field. And my co-worker behind the camera right now can most definitely testify to the fact that we blow through some of the I've already cleaned it, but I'm just going to clean it, you know, just, just for all intents and purposes. Because it's got quite a bit of buildup on it. Okay, we're going to have to get up for this part. Get up! Kind of, hold on, I'll back up a little bit. All right, tap the screen where this right here is at. Tap the screen? Yeah, now it's in focus, okay. Now, we're gonna brake clean it. And I don't know if y'all can see the difference, but there's quite a bit of buildup on here. So it's gonna take a little bit of work to get all of it off. But that's the main thing, you wanna do the same thing for the front side bottom and the top in the back and the main thing is get this good and clean so that and if we have any build up scale anything like that we can see the difference and we are going to put this collar on here once we get finished with it collar go in there like so gasket that up underneath there so when we're pumping fluid going this way you know, it holds a good seal and we don't have any leaks, has other companies, uh, oil field uh, companies, they don't, they don't want any leaks on location, so that's how we want to do it, and stay tuned, and peace.